Hi, this is Steve. Welcome back to Scale Model Kit Review. In this video, I continue to build the Ghostbusters Ecto-1 by Eagle Moss. I am on issue 12, stage 39. Now in 39, we assemble the glove box panel and a few other uh, switches and controls that are involved with on the dash. So, stand by and I will show you the complete magazine page by page and we'll look over uh, stage 39 uh, stage 40 41 and 42 will follow this video subsequently so with that let's get started Welcome back. Let's look at the magazine for issue 12. And in this magazine, we will look at the build instructions for stage 39. If you haven't done so already, head over to EagleMoss.com and subscribe to this car today. It's fantastic. It's probably the biggest car yet that they've produced. It's fantastic here. So, we can see in stage 39 here on the left that uh, we'll be... Uh, receiving more parts and assembling the dashboard including the glove box and control panels. Let me skip the stages here. And for stage 39 you can see here we uh, will be installing the glove box panel uh, fitting some of the control panels themselves on the dash and that's pretty much it with this stage. As I continue with the magazine here, we have William Atherton, which is a great little article here on him. Four pages total. And then the Ghostbusters 2 location guide. Very interesting there. Looks to be four pages with that. And the second Slimer, which was back in the sequel to Back to the Future. And we have four pages there. And lastly, Ecto 101, the monthly list of all things that make Ghostbusters great. So this is number 12 with Max von Sydow. Then it gives a preview of what's coming up in issue 13, all the parts that are included. So let me get the parts out for this stage, which is stage 39, and uh, we'll build this. And here's the parts pack for stage 39. And as you can see here, we have quite a few parts going on here in the bag. So let me take these out, we'll get a closer look. Here's a close-up of the parts that were included. We have the glove box door, which is made of plastic. That's this right here. It already has the knob attached to it there. Pretty nice. We also have the glove box panel. And steering column cover top. That's what that looks like. We also have the steering column cover bottom. all made of plastic and we have the ventilation control panel which has an L on the back side of it and the heater control panel which has a right an R on the back side of it and that's exactly how they will install under your steering column control left side right side or this is the top here so it would be left side and right side and then we receive BP screws and IP screws let's get started Step one, we install the glove box door itself, and it's a simple install here. This is the back side of the dashboard panel. This is the bottom of the panel. I went ahead and taped the uh, brake pedal out of the way so it doesn't keep pressing on our little micro switch for the lights, for the brakes. So we'll just take the panel and we simply just slide it on 
We're going to slide it through, just like that. If you saw that, and put it in that little cradle. Both pins are laying in the cradle there. Now we'll take our panel here, and we're going to put that on top. It has an alignment tab on each side, and it should just go right down on top, just like that. BP screws go into this. I'm just going to give a little bit of support, support because of my brake pedal over here on the right. And four screws go into this. I'll go ahead and do the other corner. Good. And the last one. And that looks good. And we take our glove box door and we actuate it open. That's what that looks like. Okay. Next we work on our upper panel. And just like this, we're going to put the left panel in, which is our ventilation control. Just like that. And we'll put our right panel in. Which is our heater control. Perfect. And they are in. That's how that looks. Next we mount our steering column cover. Just like that. Kind of see how that goes in there, like that. And we put IP screws into this. Put two in. These IP screws have larger threads, so they cut into the plastic a little easier. And there it is. Just like that. Now we're going to mount this to the dash. Here's my dash panel that we just put the glove box door on. And we'll go ahead and mount this just like that. Okay. 
I'm going to go ahead and clean up these ends here with an X-Acto blade. There's some extra plastic on this. That's good there. And we'll line that up. That looks good. And two IP screws go into this. And it's just a good idea to leave them loose until you get both in. And there we go. And that's what that looks like there. Turn it around. And there's your dash panel. I like it. And that's all we do for stage 39. We built a little bit on the lower dash. We installed some control panels and the glove box door. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell for all notifications. Head over to EagleMoss.com and subscribe to this fantastic car today. Like I said, it's the, one of the biggest cars that they've made so far. And you won't regret it. It's a fantastic uh, representation of the Ecto-1. Anyway, happy modeling everybody and take care.